All right. So for this video, our question says, two chicken coops are to be built adjacent to one another from 120 feet, uh, to 120 feet of fencing. So we have two questions here. What dimensions, X and Y, should be used to maximize the area of an individual coop? And then B, what is the maximum area of an individual coop? So we have 120 feet of fencing, right? And we want to create two chicken coops from it, right? And we want to make the chicken coops the biggest size that they can be using the 120 feet of fencing. So we want to know, if we have 120 feet of fencing, how big can these chicken coops be? Right? What are going to be their dimensions? What's going to be the length and the width of each one of them? And then what's going to be the total area of that space? So we're talking about perimeter and we're talking about area. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two equations based off the perimeter and area of the given information. Now, taking a look at the figure that they gave us, right, they gave us that uh, the width over here is y, so that means all of these here represent y, right, and then the length of the chicken coop is represented by x, right, so we have x here, x here, which also means that these two up here are going to be x. Right, what this is going to do is this is going to help us create our formulas for the perimeter and area of this thing. So if we're talking about perimeter, let's talk about that first. We have a total of 120 feet of fencing. So at most, our perimeter, right, or the length of every single one of these can't be more than 120 feet. All right, so 120 feet has to equal to all of these dimensions. So let's see what we have. We have one, two, three Y's, and we have one, two, three, four X's. Those are all the different lengths that we have to have. So x plus x plus x plus x, and then y plus y plus y. Those are all the total lengths that we need to include. So since we have four x's, I'm going to say this. 120 feet of fencing is equal to four x's, one, two, three, four, plus these three y's, one, two, three. So four x plus three y. Okay, that's going to be my equation for the perimeter of this thing. We also need to create an equation for the area of this. All right, so if we're talking about the area, remember the area of a rectangle is length times width. Right? So what exactly is going to be the length and the width of this? Well, the length is all of this here. Right? So that's x plus this x. That's our total length. So this x plus this x, that's 2x. Right? So 2x is going to be our length. And we have length times width. Width is just the y. So area is equal to 2x times y. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit of algebra here. We're going to do a little bit of substitution and see if we can get an equ equation that we can actually work with. Almost think about solving systems, but we're not going to quite fully solve this system here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first equation here. All right, so let me move the formula for the area over. So area is equal to 2x times the y. All right, so let me move that over so I can work with the perimeter equation. All right, and for the perimeter equation, I need to just solve this for one of my variables. All right, and what I'm going to do here, since I see that the area here, I have 2x times y. Y is all by itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation for y. And then once I have that solved for y, I'm going to plug that into this y here and see what I get. So if I solve this for y, I'm going to subtract 4x on both sides to give me 120 minus 4x is equal to 3y. And then divide 3 on both sides. Let's see. So that's going to give us y is equal to negative 4 thirds x. And 120 divided by 3 is a 40. All right, so let me flip this around and write it appropriate way. So y is equal to negative 4 thirds x plus 40. So that is what y is equal to. So I'm going to take that and plug it into this y over here. Now if I do that, let's see, this is going to be area is equal to 2x times all of my y. So all of this right here is equal to y. So I'm going to plug it in for y here, negative 4 thirds x plus 40. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this equation, and I'm going to simplify this. 
So that means I need to take 2x and multiply it to everything on the inside. So that means 2 times the negative 4 thirds, that gives me a negative 8 thirds. The x times x gives me x squared. Plus 2x times the 40 gives me 80x. So that's my equation for the area. Area is equal to negative 8 thirds x squared plus 80x. Now, this is a quadratic equation. And if we were thinking about the graph of this, this would actually represent a parabola. And when it comes to parabolas, we're talking about, or our question says what dimensions x and y should be used to maximize the area of the coupe. And when you're talking about maximizing as far as a quadratic equation here, what you're actually wanting to find is you want to find the vertex of this thing. The vertex of this is going to be that maximum point here. The way that we find a vertex of an equation in this form here is by using the formula negative b over 2a. All right. If I use this little formula here, negative b over 2a, it's going to give me my x value for the vertex. And then I can take that x value and then find what y is equal to. So let's see. Let's plug this in. If I do negative b, so b is going to be 80. Remember, b is always the coefficient of your x to the first power term. So I get a negative 80 over 2 times a, but a is a negative 8 thirds. All right, a is the coefficient of your x squared term. And when I simplify this, so let's see, just to save us time, I'm just going to let you know when we actually simplify this negative 80 over 2 times negative 8 thirds, we actually get 15 as our answer for that. What that means is that means that 15 is the x value here. So these x's here, we now know that that equals 15. If we, and if we know that that equals 15, right, we know what x is equal to, that means that we can now find the value of y. Alright, so we can plug it into our equation here, actually. So let's plug in 15 for x and see what we get for y. So 120 is equal to 4 times 15 plus 3y. 4 times 15 is equal to 60. If we subtract 60 on both sides, we get 120 minus 60 is equal to 60, and that's equal to 3y. When we divide 3 on both sides, we get that y is equal to 20. So that means we know now that x is equal to 15, y is equal to 20. So x is equal to 15 feet, y is equal to 20 feet. So that actually answers question A. What dimensions x and y should be used to maximize the area of individual coupe? Well, 15 by 20 is the numbers that we need. In order to answer question B, it says what is the maximum area of an individual coupe? So it's pretty much just wanting to find what is the area of one of these coupes. Remember, area is equal to length times width when it comes to a rectangle. We now know what our length is equal to. We now know what our width is equal to because remember, x is 15, y is 20. So we can simply find the area of this by taking 15 times 20. And whenever we calculate that, we get a total area of 300 square feet. So that means one of these chicken coops is equal to 300 square feet. And the dimensions are 15 by 20. Otherwise, that's it for this video.